Ah, right. Quick one. Uh, this is sort of not, not really, you know, part of the build, but um, after I finished putting all of the extruder and stuff together, I thought I'd have a good check of it because I was kind of too lazy to get a bit of filament to check the alignment because I was really only looking for the alignment side to side on the hobbed gear along the shaft, which, yeah, I mean, I just did it with an Allen key. Um, but then I tried to feed a bit of 1.75 filament through and there was no way that it was going through the top of the extruded body uh, over the hob gear and down into the Teflon tube without a lot of assistance pushing from the side to get it down to the Teflon tube. So after a bit of examination I figured out, well I'm assuming what is the issue is that the Mark 8 hob gear that's sort of generally available must be a slightly larger diameter. It could be that the stepper motor is sort of different alignment, but I doubt that. I think it's more likely the hob gear. What it means is, is that there's a bit of a misalignment, and um, I'll show you in some pictures. So this first picture here, uh, basically I have taken a photograph of the situation as it was, as it would be, with the hob gear in place. The black shaded line in the background is sort of roughly the diameter of the filament as it would pass through. The white line is the center line of the filament and I have sort of highlighted that black circle on the right there, which is the hole in the top of the extruder body that the filament passes through from the spool. So that is all kind of looks fine, but if you actually stick a bit of filament in, and I did this from the hot end end in this particular photo, you can see that um, actually, and I've already filed it a little bit in this photograph, the area to the, uh, you know, where the Teflon tube is, I've already filed that hole a bit bigger. But you can see that it's still um, being pushed up as it comes out of that Teflon tube by the hobbed gear. And that is in no way aligned with the uh, black circle <laughs> representing the hole in the top of the extruder body. Um, so you imagine if you're pushing that in from the other end, it would be um, basically pushing wide on the left hand side and there's no way without you putting a screwdriver or something in there to push it and force it down the tube that that would work. So uh, yeah, what I'm trying to do or what I have done is as far as possible make the hole on the uh, where the Teflon tube is and the hole where it comes into the top of the body as far across or as up to the top as you can here um it's giving it a you know a straighter path the issue is is that you soon hit the sort of boundaries of the material that's left here you know you can't really move it too far drilling it out or filing it until you start to get uh, you know dangerously close to these walls where they're going to fall apart however that is kind of as uh, you know as far as i've got at the moment you know drilling it out and uh filing it and that kind of stuff both of those holes so that they're as far to the top as possible uh, greatly reduces the situation i mean it, it was actually really tight i mean it was quite an effort to push that filament um by hand over the hob gear so i think that that would lead to you know a lot of unnecessary load on the hob gear stepper or on the extruder stepper rather and seeing as that's already a little bit iffy in terms of the power of the driver and all of that, I don't think that's great. Um, I'm going to see how it works out. Like I said, it's already a lot better. Um, if it's still an issue, then I will try and come up with a solution. But actually, it's a fairly tricky solution. If it's not a problem, then well, fine. But, you know, I think that, you know, the least amount of stress that you can put on that stepper and that driver, the better, really.